Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today guys I will do a general love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising. And let's begin. Let's see what's coming your way. And we do have the star, Aquarius energy and the hangman. So we are a little bit lost and confused because the situation is stagnant. Nothing is moving. We are sacrificing. We are trying to understand. See things from a different perspective. Deal with unfinished business. Maybe an Aquarius by the way doing that to us but it can be your energy of you know what's going on i mean what happened ace of cups a new a new love stepping in coming in being offered to you um can be from the same person a renewed one completely new one but can um, also be from somebody else and we are not paying attention for some of you, Gemini Ace of Cups is the energy of a new love of somebody around you, um, having feelings for you, and we are in the Four of Cups, not seeing the gift that is given to us and looking at the empty cups and feeling confused, right? Needing closure, needing someone to explain to us what exactly happened and why. And Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Maybe somebody has a drinking problem. I'm more guided to feel it is a drinking problem than anything else. I know these cards sometimes, they are so difficult to shuffle, so. And I have two decks, so it's not easy. Anyways, avoiding disasters, right? I've been walking on eggshells, honestly, this is how it feels, right? We don't want to make the situation worse, but in the same time, we are not asking the questions that um, we need to ask and we feel confused about it. So let's see what's going on. So we do have the Hierophant in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, Taurus Aries energy, show of force by the way, <laughs> or display of force, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse, and the Temperance Sagittarius energy, and the Ace of Swords. I know, I would expect communication. Um, I mean, at least the universe guiding you, um, Gemini, to speak your truth and open up and ask for explanations. Honestly, I feel... All this is about asking for explanations. So we do have the Hierophant in reverse. So maybe a marriage went, you know, a commitment, a relationship, you know, we got into separation, out of balance, um, uh, manipulation, a uh, display of power. I keep, I keep hearing display of power, display, you know, because we have the Emperor in reverse. And boy, we don't want to have the Emperor in reverse because it's the biggest abuse of power. It's like, you know, having someone or uh, being in a relationship with someone making more money than you and then, you know, having that um, attitude, you know, like I am the breadwinner, I am and that and then manipulative, right, because of it, because they deserve it, you know, and, um, and putting, you know, standards and uh, in place that we cannot really follow. Um, and it has abuse of power, it has manipulation and rejection and um, not with, you know, temperance in re in, when it's upright is such a beautiful energy of compromise and trying to understand the other person, meet halfway, you know, being open to listen to the other one and, and understanding a little bit what they are going through in reverse is like, you know, somebody saying that because of principles, you know, they cannot bend the rules or you know, they they might show up quite uh, not open to compromise because of, you know, matters of, um, of um, you know, principles or personal principles and morals and um, a really an, an energy, a very stiff kind of energy. And I would expect communication. We do have the Ace of Swords. Um, we know it's written communication and it's all over this energy where... Uh, they might not be speaking the truth, Gemini. Uh, this is someone hiding something, manipulating something behind your back. So so let's see what's going, what's going on here. They definitely bring to the table an energy that we need to clarify and understand, right? So past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And you know what? You, you only take the side you resonate the most with, the messages you resonate the most with. Um, whatever you feel it's yours, it will hit home. Current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual, and let's have the possible outcome. For you, 
the person you are dealing with and mutual bottom of the deck seven of swords speaking of dishonesty right communication about dishonesty so let's see what's going on in the past we do have the three of pentacles and the knight of wands might have been a fire sign you have Sagittarius twice, by the way. You have Sagittarius in the overall energy. You have Aries. You have Taurus so far. And Sagittarius again. And Three of Pentacles, right? Unstable connection. Somebody stop providing or stop being a partner, being a, a player, a team player. Uh, Three of Pentacles is really building a life together. It's more than a partnership. It's a commitment. It's something that is way more solid than... Um, then and I do said, um, you know, on the corner of the table and, and Knight of Wands in reverse. I kind of feel that, um, somebody lost the spark and the passion and I believe it was them and, um, put you in an unstable situation. And well, 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 look at this. Three of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Somebody was burdened by a third party situation. We do have Three of uh, Cups with the Seven of Swords. I mean... In the most classic um, tarot, that's the most classic definition of a third party situation. And at some point, they felt it was too much. I mean, you know, when we have two people, we, we um, kind of juggle two people. It, it becomes, you know, quite, um, quite draining in terms of energies. And ten of wands is the energy of being drained, um, doing all the work and, and trying to make it work and um, manage all this, right? And mutual energies between the two of you, seven of wands with the five of cups, regrets, guilt, responsibilities, uh, combined with the energy of blocking. You know, again, at some point it was too much and no, we are not staying in third party situation. I kind of feel like a strong energy here where no, thank you, you know, and somebody blocked the way and, um, two different energies, but I kind of feel that it was too much for them and because of it you know it's kind of like they've made a choice and probably they chose the other person feels like in terms of energies so we do have the judgment and the nine of cups so probably right now gemini we are expecting a final decision a judgment a sentence you know something to be over turn the page have a new chapter and we are not at our best um energy nine of cups right now it's we are unhappy right uh, okay, tell me something more, right? <laughs> I know. Um, Nine of Cups is the energy of, of unhappiness. And, and yet, uh, you know, the decision is uh, close. It's uh, coming. Now, this person of yours, they do have the um, King of Cups in reverse and the world in reverse, right? Still dealing with unfinished business, emotionally drained. Um, King of Cups in reverse is actually not being in, in control with... Um, of their emotions and um, it's Pisces Cancer Scorpio energy for some of you but it's um, you know in between in between worlds right one that had to end and one that it um, didn't really end and mutual energies between the two of you we do have the five of swords and queen of pentacles instability nothing else to give and lots of conflicts can be inner conflicts can be between you and your person does seem to have like um, communication and exchanges. Uh, I would say some food for thought. Uh, it doesn't have to be conflictual, right? We can find way to clearly communicate without really getting into five of swords. Might be taking advantage. Some food for some some food for thought or word of wisdom for someone. Five of swords is the energy of taking advantage of finan of a financial situation here leaving the other person fighting for financial security and leaving the other person in insecurities. That's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Financially unstable. Um, you know, trying not to split whatever needs uh, uh, to be split, so on and so forth. So I would say not a beautiful energy, but it's part of the game, right? The energy coming your way, Eight of Pentacles and the world in reverse. So... Um, I wouldn't expect a decision just yet or things to be over just yet and somebody here is actually um, asked to work on, right? Eight of Pentacles, eight, um, uh, the world in reverse. It's kind of like the energy of prepare for descending, right? Um, it's like make sure you are focusing on the right things, 
uh, make sure you work for it make sure you pay attention to the details it has this energy in order for you because it's a major arcana so lessons and pieces of advice in order for you to really have a happy ending which is the world we have to just uh, be really focused on this right and i would say make the right decisions because you do have the judgment as the energy right now so that is something that you can decide about now this person of yours they do have the hermit in reverse and the death they are absolutely transforming uh not seeing the lesson just yet that's the hermit in reverse but definitely transforming uh, because uh, the death, right? It's a major arcana. So you, we know that it was a lesson in it for them. And it was meant to bring them someplace else. And when where that is an ending, that is a dawn. So um, I feel that they are on a journey. It's kind of like the universe saying they are on a journey. They are not happy. Nothing is fully established and arranged. But, uh, you know, it has, you know, that is a timeline on it. And they... Um, they are um, in between endings and beginnings. Mutual energies between the two of you, the hangman and the queen of cups. This is the energy of observing each other, um, keeping tabs. It has this energy also of changing perspectives and changing emotions. Um, getting more in control, both of you, um, of your emotions, but I would say expect communication about dishonesty if that is one message that it really takes the whole energy here it's your overall energy right somebody here needs to know that they've been manipulative uh, disrespectful cheating lying deceiving they were out of balance when they, when they've done it there was rejection uh, because of a, you know very standoff kind of behavior and bringing you know all kinds of uh, of reasons uh, to the table we have like seven of wands right blocking and and defensiveness um but we have to give them one point gemini um somebody here had enough of a third party situation and let go of right three of cups and the ten of wands can be you um and if you f think that they enjoyed it and that that was something i I, I'm not seeing it, you know, I'm not seeing it at all. I'm seeing somebody emotionally drained, longing for happy endings, longing for peace of mind. We have the temperance, right? Longing for something that is better at the end of whatever uh, needed to end. So um, let's ask for some guidance. And the question is always the same. Should we say yay? Should we say nay? And the universe is asking you to put some boundaries between you and this person can be also boundaries when it comes to you and the time that you spend thinking about them or being reminiscent the universe is asking you to start dating you do have dating so we need to start something new over here back to what you love reevaluate your desires we need an assessment right we need a plan working on your worthiness self-respect um, you know, um, self-esteem. And Gemini, you are reminded that you are limitless. You can do anything you choose. So I don't feel you are guided towards this person. On the contrary, we put boundaries when it comes to them. And we, um, we start dating other people, focus on self-esteem, focus on, um, you know, um, internal power and strength. So let's see what else we have to put back into the flow. Surrender to success. So you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. So don't look back, Gemini. Do not look back. Freedom. Dating and freedom. Feel free to date. You know, that's it. That's the energy. Feel free to date. The message for you today. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. We do have patience. And it comes way back to what you love, right? Reassessing, patiently reassessing what happened. I accept that everything happens in divine order. And we do have trust, worthiness and trust. That is a powerful message for someone today. And it is trust that you are worthy um, gemini trust that you are worthy bottom of the deck surrender your ego 
Cultivate gratitude, be of service to others and come from the heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. Well, that is a fact, by the way. 